Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at Time Machine and how it works for Macs. Now, it doesn't matter if you guys have a MacBook, iMac, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, it's the same thing for all of them. So I already did a video of how to set this up and the best way to set up Time Machine is through an external hard drive or external SSD. And where you can find Time Machine would be under System Preferences. So right here in System Preferences, you will see it down here below, all Macs have this, going to Time Machine. So under Time Machine we do have several options. Once you have set it up, again, I did a video how to set this up. We're just going to talk about just how it works a little bit in this video. To just explain what you should do. So the first thing you should have on is backup automatically. Does that mean you need to have your external SSD or external hard drive hooked up to your Mac all day, every day? No, you can. And that's actually really good because then it's going to run automatic backups a lot more frequent than having you to plug it in and then run a backup. However, for me, I don't like this to get in my way. So what I do is exactly that. I only plug it in once I want to make a backup because you do not have to have it connected the whole time to your Mac. So right here on the side, I do have my external hard drive. I have it set up into three parts. That doesn't really matter. Here is my time machine and it does have this icon. It's not a big deal if you guys never got this icon on it it's still gonna work. So what your time machine is gonna do is back up your entire Mac. That means the apps, photos, documents, everything within your Mac, which includes the Mac OS. Now, if you want to exclude anything from the backup, we can just go into options down here below. On the bottom right hand side, we're gonna see options. Once we click on options, these are the things that are excluded from backing up. So we do have these guys right here. However, we could include them. So if you want to back up, let's say another external hard drive, within our time machine, we could just take this one out of here and that way it's gonna back up. But right now, whatever's under this list will not be backed up. So if you do want information from a USB drive or something like that to be backed up on your time machine, you can do that. Just go into here and make sure it's not here in the list. You can always press on the minus sign or add anything that you would like not to be backed up on your time machine. And for that, just tap on the plus sign down here below. Anyways, besides having that backup with your entire Mac OS, so let's say you move on from this Mac to another Mac and you want to transfer everything over. Yes, you would use Time Machine. Again, I do have a separate video showing you exactly how to do that. And it's very, very easy. It's also good to know if you maybe did an update on your Mac and you saw that everything turned out really slow or something glitchy is really happening. Well, lucky for you, as I mentioned before, this does back up your entire Mac OS, which means we can always go back in time when it was working from before. So we could restore your Mac to a date before you did the update. So that way it's gonna work again. However, the good thing about Time Machine is that you can also get files back. So let's say I deleted a file a few days ago and I can't find it anywhere. So I can always go back in time and if I know it, that file was maybe my desktop or my documents, I can find it pretty fast. So let's go and show you how that happens. So before I close this up, just to show you, just also make sure down here below to have this check mark on. That way you can show Time Machine in the menu bar. So that's gonna be on the top right hand side of your screen of your Mac. For now, I'm just gonna close this up. And if I look at the top right hand side of my screen, I'm gonna see this clock type of icon. So if I click right there, I'm gonna see my latest backup. I can also back it up manually. I can enter Time Machine or I can go ahead and open Time Machine in Preferences. Right now, we are gonna give an example of getting a file back from Time Machine. So let's go in and enter Time Machine. So right now that I click there, it's entering Time Machine. It's going to go through all my backups. Now I don't do backups daily, although I should, I usually forget. Sometimes I just don't. That's why some, for some of you it might be a good thing to have Time Machine always running and uh, have it always hooked up to your computer. However, I don't, so that's why I don't have a daily one. So right now I am in my desktop view and these are the files that have been in my desktop today. I can also go back, if you guys take a look at the right hand side, you will see a bunch of dates. So I can actually go back quite a bit and see what was my desktop back in January 6, for example. And I can even go further back. Let's say I want to go all the way back to October 2020. I can go back there and see what was there and maybe get those files back. For now, let's just click on November 14, 2020. Just as an example, I'm gonna click right there and it's gonna run me back all the way to what files were there. So right now you guys could see my desktop. So that's show me desktop. 
these were the files that I had on my desktop back then. So maybe there was a video that I want to get back. Well, I can just click on that video. For example, it could be any type of file, by the way. And down here below, you're going to see restore. So we can get that file back. Even if this video was actually fully deleted, which it was. You went to my garbage bin and then it was completely gone. So that's why I can't find it anywhere on my computer. However, there was backup done in Time Machine. So let's click on restore. And what will this do? Well, it's going to take me back to my current desktop. It's going to exit Time Machine. It's going to transfer that file right now from my desktop back then to the desktop that I have right now. So it's just bringing that file back. So that's another really good feature about Time Machine. You can always get those files back. So here it is. Here's my file. It just went back to my desktop. Uh, again, this is my desktop view folder right here. I can see that that was created in 2020 because this is set up like that. And I can see it right here on my desktop, obviously, because that's where I'm getting it from. So that's just an example of what Time Machine can do for you. Now remember, the way that Time Machine works is that it will take a snapshot of your entire Mac, it will make that backup. However, if it's running out of space, almost full, it will take the oldest backup that it has, it will delete that one, and then it's going to keep going with the backups. So what does that mean? That eventually your oldest backup will get deleted. So only use Time Machine as exactly that, a backup, not just to hold files. If you want to hold files forever, always create a partition. So right here, I have other external hard drives. So this one right here is a backup. If I open that up, I can just drag and drop files into there and they're just going to stay there. That's a manual backup. That's using it like a USB stick. I can just drop files in there. They're going to stay there forever. There's no automatic backup that's going to happen. So again, if you just want to keep files forever, you don't want them to ever be deleted automatically because that's the oldest backup, for example, like Time Machine works, then you would need to just set it up like a normal USB drive where you just drop and drag files into that external hard drive, external SSD or USB drive. But if you want a good backup of your entire Mac, that means all your apps, your Mac OS, everything, then Time Machine's the guy for you because then you can transfer all your stuff from your Mac that you have right now into a new Mac. Or if your Mac crashes, you have that backup of your entire Mac as well. However, if you have something like this, just a normal external hard drive, well, then you're just going to have to drag and drop files into there to back those up. So that's a manually backing up files in there. So what I mean is, for example, I have this folder right here. I would have to literally drop and drag this file here, and it's always going to stay there, right? However, Time Machine does that automatically. It just goes on and backs this up. So it does know that this file is my desktop. It's going to know that it's going to back it up and then we're good. However, later on, if uh, it's getting a little bit full and my oldest backup needs to get deleted, it will automatically delete that backup and it's going to do a new backup. So I might not be able to recover this file later on if I'm using Time Machine. Again, that's only if I decided to delete this file at any point. Anyways, hopefully that made sense for everybody. If you guys still have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget, subscribe and rate. Thank you.